Do you mind if I just run down the lane here to call on Mariah Lucas? Uh, no, not at all. Mr. Darcy, I can go no longer without thanking you for your kindness to my poor sister. Ever since I have known of it, I have been most anxious to tell you how grateful I am for my family and for myself. You must not blame my aunt for telling me. Lydia betrayed it first, and then I couldn't rest till I knew everything. I know what trouble and what mortification it must have cost you. Please let me say this. Please allow me to thank you on behalf of all my family, since they don't know to whom they are indebted. If you will thank me, let it be for yourself alone. Your family owes me nothing. As much as I respect them, I believe I thought only of you. You are too generous to trifle with me. If your feelings are what they were last April, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes are unchanged. But one word from you will silence me on this subject forever. Oh, my feelings. My feelings are... I'm ashamed to remember what I said then. My feelings are so different. In fact, they are quite the opposite. Lady Catherine told me of her meeting with you. I may say that her disclosure had quite the opposite effect to the one she intended. It taught me to hope as I'd scarcely ever allowed myself to hope before. I knew that had you absolutely decided against me, you would have acknowledged it openly. <laughs> yes, you know enough of my frankness to believe me capable of that. After abusing you so abominably to your face, I could have no scruple in abusing you to all your relations. And what did you say of me that I did not deserve? My behavior to you at the time was unpardonable. I can hardly think of it without abhorrence. Your reproof I shall never forget. Had you behaved in a more gentlemanlike manner? You know not how those words have tortured me. Not the smallest idea of ever being taken in such a way. I can easily believe it. You thought me devoid of every proper feeling. I'm sure you did. The turn of your countenance I shall never forget. You said that I could not have addressed you in any possible way that would induce you to accept me. Oh, do not repeat what I said then. No, I've been a selfish being all my life. As a child, I was given good principles, but was left to follow them in pride and conceit. And such I might still have been, but for you. Dearest, loveliest Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs>